Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about Moldavite. Okay, so let me just like explain what this whole situation is. Picture this. It's 4 a.m. I can't sleep. So naturally as one would, I am scrolling on TikTok, laying in bed in the dark. I stumble across a TikTok about the Guys, rock crystal, whatever you want to call it, called let's talk about Moldavite. I really want to hear y'all's experiences with it. I've had Moldavite for almost a month now and I wear it every day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not take people as quite as seriously as I should have. When people tell you that your life is going to do a 180, let me tell you guys, I found out that I'm moving across the country, I am completely changing up my job, um, it really put a whole kapowie in my spiritual awakening. This video is by Nat Loves Cats 420 after watching this video i had this sudden like urge as if i was having like a calling to this stone oh it's 4 a.m i stumble across this it's meant to be so i hop on etsy and i am overwhelmed by i have no idea where to start so i go over to youtube i watch a couple videos and i find out that there are actually a lot of fake Moldavite stones. So before I hop on buying one, I need to figure out what this even is, what it does, and how to get a real one. You see, Moldavite is known, at least online, from first glances as being a crystal or stone or whatever that really can bring change and chaos into someone's life. So naturally, I am drawn to that because right now, life could use a little chaos. But like good chaos, you know? I'm hoping for good chaos. Okay, good energies. Let's see. I'm pulling out some Google. According to meanings.crystalsandjewelry.com, Moldavite can be used to guide you on the right path. This is because it carries the energies of the extraterrestrial world. So I guess what happened is 15 million years ago, Moldavite was formed because a meteor crashed onto Earth. I believe it's in the Czech Republic. I'll double check that. Moldavite was formed. It's kind of like a glassy, greeny looking stone. Moldavite is a form of a tektite. This crystal will eventually become extinct as it has not so far been found anywhere else on the surface of the Earth, apparently. Moldavite holds many um, <clears throat> metaphysical properties. Basically, Moldavite is known as being one of the most powerful stones. A lot of people experience different symptoms with it, like feeling heat with it or becoming tired. Crazy dreams are another thing. While all that sounds like good and dandy, I don't fully believe all of it, but I do like give into it a little bit. I will fully admit to that. So I wanna test it out. Apparently, the stone is known to heighten our self-awareness and help us uncover those thoughts, feelings, and emotions that may be keeping us stuck in an unhappy present, allowing us to move forward to see the possible outcomes and futures. Many people, according to um, TikToks primarily, as well as Instagram and um, a couple YouTube videos, my thorough research, have said that it completely transformed their lives once its presence was, like, there everything changed. Promotions, breakups, friendship endings, friendships making, like relationships starting or ending, moving. And I just find that so fascinating. Because this stone is only available in one part of the world, it is becoming more and more rare. And that just means that the price goes up and the quantity is going down. And with this spike because of the trend across TikTok, it is becoming way more and more popular. So I really wanted to make sure that I was able to get a real one. And that's kind of nerve wracking to think that I could be getting a fake one. So where do you head when you want to get something real only? I went to Instagram. <laughs> so let me just open up the Instagram app. I search for Moldavite just the hashtag to see like what would show up. Because on Etsy, honestly, it was kind of overwhelming. Some things were so expensive while other things were seemed like 
questionably cheap. I ended up finding this post by Loving Thyself Rocks, and it is a bunch of different Moldavite pieces of jewelry. And so when pondering the Loving Thyself Rocks page, they seem pretty legit. They seem pretty passionate about the stones and the crystals that they provide and that they sell. And that was one thing that stood out to me, hoping that it is going to be an authentic piece of Moldavite. Okay, and I know that this isn't a reason to trust a brand based on who's following it. However, I did feel like this sort of gave it a little bit of credibility and I could be completely crazy for that. So this shop is followed by two girls that I know from school and also Alexis Haynes. I think is how you say it. I personally know of her as Alexis Nyers. Nancy Joe, this is Alexis Nyers calling. I have been obsessed with all the like E! TV shows, The Deckers, Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, but one of the shows that I was obsessed with when I was younger was Pretty Wild, which starred Alexis Nyers and it also documented what happened with the bling ring scandal thing. Have a nice life. Goodbye. Anyway, she now has a podcast called Recovering from Reality and she's very like spiritual. She lives in Malibu. She has a recovery center and I feel like that's very like crystal zen vibes. So if someone were to want to follow a crystal shop and they were that type of person, I feel like it would be like a legit shop, you know? Does that make any sense? Let me know down below if that makes any sense. Also while you're there, subscribe. Okay, anyway. So I popped on over to their Etsy store, did a little da -da -da -da. that didn't make any sense. And I ended up purchasing a stone. <laughs> what it pretty much seems like is it goes for about $20 a gram. I don't, I don't know what else would go for something like that. Anyway, um, I bought, I believe, 1.5 grams. I think it was $21. Then I waited a few days and my package came. So my package arrived. Came with two different cards, little Etsy store card. It came with a little card about lavender, which is also in the little bag with the Moldavite. I love lavender. It relaxes me so much. Anytime I light a lavender candle, I fall asleep immediately. I blow it out first, you know, so I know. And then it also came with a little card about Moldavite. Heart and third eye and crown chakra, stone of transformation and manifestation. Removes fears and doubts. Extremely powerful and is known to give you an energetic flush. These cards are all interesting, whatever. Let's get to the main star of the show, the Moldavite. And here she is. This is my little piece of Moldavite. I mean, I think it seems kind of legit. I hope it is. And I'm really happy with the size of it. It definitely like does feel warm, which is weird. My thing is, I don't know if it's like my brain telling me, oh, it feels warm because my hands are holding it and my hands are warm and it's like transferring heat. I don't know if it's like a placebo effect too with like my brain being like, I feel the energy, you know? Cause I think that I should feel the energy. Um, <laughs> My thoughts were that I was going to turn this into like a necklace pendant and I was going to do that by going over to Michael's. <laughs> I ended up purchasing this wire and my plan is to attempt to wire wrap my Moldavite and wear it as a necklace. I ended up getting this 24 gauge copper wire and I have a pair of wire cutters, pliers, whatever. I'm really excited to start wearing it and seeing what's happening. I will say the first couple of nights I slept with it next to my pillow just for like fun to see what would happen and 
I have been having the most vivid, I remember the details, crazy elaborate dreams. I don't know if it's just like my brain going wild or if it's really because of Moldavite like being by me when I'm asleep. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I rarely remember my dreams and they're honestly never that vivid, but it's been like Every single night since I got this, I've been sleeping a ton, which in general I have been sleeping a lot more lately. I think because it's like dark out in winter and whatever. But my dreams since I got this have been like insane. I feel like this is probably fine. I apologize for my dirty desk. I could have cleaned it for you, but I didn't. I don't really know if I'm doing this like actually right or not. I don't think that there is totally like a right or wrong though. Sure, there's like a prettier way. I don't think there's really a wrong. Although I don't doubt that I'm not doing it efficiently or that effectively, but I am doing it and I'm sure that it's fine. <laughs> I doubt my camera's gonna focus. Uh, uh, prove me wrong, prove me wrong. Here she is. Okay, well, the wire wrapping is done and here we are. You can kind of see it. Oh, oh. I think it's like the size of the stone is so like small that even though it is kind of like chaotically wrapped, it still doesn't look like I'm wearing like a giant rock around my neck, which is perfect and exactly what I wanted. I guess now, <laughs> wait and see what happens. Obviously, I'm, I don't have like a, a resolution to share with you guys, but... I was really intrigued by the stone and I'm so curious to see what is going to happen slash if anything's going to happen slash if it's just placebo, pl placebo. <laughs> if nothing happens, if you don't believe in this, that's totally fine. Totally fine. It's a cute little necklace that I'm just gonna wear. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one.